At the start of the year, we showed how to execute the labour draw strategy. This video was very well received by the YouTube community. Now as the year draws to a close, we are going to look at backing the draw. This video is going to flip the normal criteria on its head though. After watching this video, you'll have a totally new perspective on how to define and test your criteria. For this strategy, we will be using CGM Bet. If you want to purchase this software, the link is below for a heavily discounted one-off price with no further monthly payments. So most video creators will take you into their software and will start adding criteria such as the home team scoring over two and a half goals and 60% of the games and the same for the away team. And to begin with, we were as guilty as anybody doing this, but with constant evolution and research and understanding of my own game, I can now see why this is not the right way to go. It is all guesswork. There is no way of knowing if this is an efficient measure or not. It just sounds good and nobody ever challenges it. Randomness is a sure way to lose in the long term. The way I'm going to approach this strategy is to pick a league where I think there are a lot of draws and then attempt to prove that this is profitable via skill rather than luck. For this we will be using the p-value. This is sometimes referred to as the BS detector as it quickly highlights random unprofitable strategies. I'm going to use the Italian Serie A in this example as I think this league has many draws. If my beliefs are right then we can extend this to other leagues and see if the pattern is consistent. So to begin with we're going to be using the CGM Bet reverse engineering module and we're going to look at games in the Italian Serie A between the 23-24 and 25-26 season up to the current date. And we're just going to keep it simple. We're just going to look for draws. And I've already filtered this data here. So out of the 900 games that have already taken place, then 262 of those are a draw or 29.1%. So this is lower than I thought it would be. I thought the draws would be more than a third, obviously 33.3%. But we'll continue and see if we can find any angles on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the draw for the home team at home and also the draw for the away team away. Nice and simple. And we'll just calculate the hit rates on these. So we can see that it's only given us 29 games at the moment where these two are combined, which is obviously nowhere near enough. So we're going to find the best strike rates for both of these. And now we're up to 84 games and a 36.9% strike rate which is straight away is better than the 29. We've, had, we've got a million filtered games. If you are unsure what I've just done here, then please watch the video on reverse engineering. There are a couple of them on the channel and I'll put the link to those um, in the description below. So what we're going to do with these 84 games now is we're going to use this new back test and p-value feature here in um, a lot of these CGM bet modules and that will tell us how profitable this strategy would be if we were using these parameters. So straight away on our, our draw here, we can see from our 84 game sample rate, we've got a 36.9% strike rate, uh, average odds of 271, a 37.5% yield, and a p-value of 0.95. Now that sounds absolutely amazing, doesn't it? And we can look at the graph for that over time. And we can see here that um, certainly since June 2024, then the P rate has been very consistent here. And if we stick the yield on there, then we can see again, the yield is very consistent. So most people would be putting this out as a video saying, look how much profit I make in back the draw. Isn't this brilliant? And most people would take that at face value. It would be hard not to agree with that. Delving deeper, which is what I always like to do. It seems that not is all as it appears. I'm not going to pretend I fully understand everything about P value and sampling. So I asked Gemini to help me. And the first thing it accused me of here was p-hacking. It's saying the range is too specific, and if this was a true reflection, then it would work at slightly higher or lower than our range. If we go back, then we see we've got a range of 4 to 24% there, and 11 to 27 on this side. So what Gemini suggested is that we make this more round numbers, so 0 to 30 on both sides, and then test if the strategy is still as profitable or not, because this is just p-hacking or backfitting. We are just looking at what's happened in the past, putting our criteria around that, which is a great start. It tells us exactly what happened previously, but it's not gonna tell us what's gonna happen in the future. And that's what we're looking for after all. So now we've changed both sides to zero and 30, and we can see we've got 353 games now with a 29.7% uh, hit rate, which is still slightly higher than the sample here. So again, we'll go into the back test, and now we can see that We've still got a 12% yield 
Um, we've got a slightly lower hit rate uh, and the p-value is just over five and a half percent which is still very good really we can work with that it's um, just outside what is known as the acceptable range and if we look at the um, the graph again for the p-value on here then we can see it's still fairly consistent but just not as good as it was before uh, putting the yield on then we can see it's uh, it's a lot smaller yield we were negative uh, for the first um, six months of the trial and then it's kind of stabilized and we're getting a consistent profit here around about the 15 percent mark so we'll test this criteria on other leagues in the same period and without any filters we can see that we've got a negative 4.73 percent yield and a p-value of 29 over the 56,000 game sample size this is saying that this is just luck at this stage and we've got no criteria in there whatsoever so uh, that's a fair assumption now I've added the criteria that the reverse engineering suggested, so a draw rate between 0 and 30%, uh, which we've done in a custom column here. And if we do the back test again on here, then we can see that we're still negative 3% yield, but the p-value is now close to 5 again. What we can do now is we can see which leagues uh, are profitable for this strategy. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the yield greater than 5 and the p-value We'll set it as seven. We'll give it a bit of uh, leeway in that. And we'll click on find leagues and we'll come back once the software has gone through all of the leagues and give us the profitable ones for the uh, draw strategy. So the software has now calculated all the games where there is a um, sample size of greater than 50, the yields greater than five and the p-value is less than seven. Now, out of all of these leagues here, some of that criteria is hit on other markets. So if we look at Spain Seconda, then we can see here that the full-time both teams to score and the over two and a half and three and a half goals meets that criteria. But our full-time draw doesn't. And in fact, only seven of these leagues um, do hit with um, the full-time draw. The Romanian Liga 1, for example. Previous videos would say, so just use these seven leagues and you'll make big profits. But unfortunately, again... Having a conversation with Gemini, it doesn't agree with this. Uh, Gemini says that you can easily get 5% of leagues with a strong p-value randomly. And it equates it to like winning on the lottery. So we have about 8% of the leagues we've tested that are profitable. So overall, that is not a great return. Gemini was a big help in changing my thought process on this. Rather than looking at what had happened in the past, it told me to look at what will happen in the future. It explained we can do this by using expected goals and Poisson distribution, which is the what we've got open here on CGM Bet. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail on the expected goals formula that Gemini gave me, but if we run all this data on the Italian Serie A league once more, then we can see that we've got a 30.22% hit rate and a yield of 15.18%, which is still looking promising. In order to check games that are a good match for this strategy, we need games where the difference in XG between home and away teams is less than 0.2. So if we calculate the expected goals for the upcoming games, then we can see that Lecce Pisa would meet that, uh, even though the uh, value is not there for the draw. Uh, Atlanta Calorie, there is value for the draw and that meets that criteria. Parma Calcio, the expected goals are very low on that and the draw is, has value and coming down a lot of these games do meet that criteria looking at it uh, milan versus sassuolo is just outside torino cremonese is just on the edge but a lot of these other games would be candidates and you can see there's four of them with value so they potentially four games to keep an eye on this weekend so if we now look at the um, cgm bet correct score analyzer which again also uses poisson distribution what I've done here is I've um, brought in all the draw scores and the percentages that they're likely to happen and totaled these together. And we can see here, say Fiorentina versus Verona, then the software is saying that there is over a 54% chance of a draw in that game. And at the bookmakers, that game is uh, currently priced as 3.6 to back the draw. So we can see that there's certainly value in that game. And the same with the Parma Lazio game. So the draw there is priced at 3.4. And for Parma Lazio here, we've got a 58.82% of one of these four scores hitting. So that's interesting to keep an eye on. So we'll check this new approach out on Serie A and see how it performs. So what I've done is I've created a couple of custom functions, XG Home and XG Away. And what I'm doing is I'm taking one away from the other using the absolute so it doesn't matter 
uh, which team has got the higher expected goals. If that's less than 0.2, then we're interested in that game. So if we run that through for the 900 games in Italy and uh, see what the results are. So we can see that in Serie A now we've got 162 game sample and we've got a p-value of 3.5% which is good. We've got a yield of 18% which is good and everything is looking rosy again here. So now let's test this for all leagues once again and see if we can still maintain our profit. So we've now filtered all of the games from 23-24 up until the current dates where the expected goals of the two teams is less than 0 0.2 and we can see here that the full-time draw p-value is now at 32.43 so it's gone well out and the yield is minus 3.82 uh, but what we're going to do here is we're going to show something which uh, revolutionizes back testing to the nth degree really and something that only CGM bets as far as I'm aware can do and that is the 70-30 split so what this means is we're going to try to create the strategy on the first 70% of games and if we can get that to be profitable then the final 30% of the games is the blind test if it's still profitable on those 30 games then we've got a good strategy basically. So that means that if this first 70% has been backfitted, then the final 30% will need to follow the same kind of pattern for this strategy to be profitable. We're not gonna make this more profitable at this point. We're just going to show you what the 70-30 split will do. So I can see here that our 70% split is 8,308 games. And if we show the graph, this will show both the 70 and the 30 and we'll let this draw. So the 70% is for games from the 2nd of July 2023 up until the 17th of March 2025, with the 30% being from the 18th of March 2025 up until the 10th of December 2025. So here the graph has shown us that this strategy in the 70% um, sample, apart from the first few weeks of the season, the p-value on this was um, never in a range where we were happy. And we wouldn't even be looking at this 30% um, initially with this data as it is. It is just far too far out. A p-value is 33 at the end there. It is coming down, but we would need to be working on this data to get the p-value under 5%. And then we would look at this data, but even the 30% data, even if it does come into about 13s or so um, over the last month or so, uh, it is nowhere near profitable. So even though on the Italian league, this was showing us a real strong strategy um, looking at the 70-30 split method on the back testing, then it is, um, it's far from a good strategy. And this should be one which you put nowhere near the production environment. And this is revolutionary back testing. As I say, nothing else that I've seen can do anything like this. In fact, it's probably not even on their radar. This is a scientifically proved method for understanding data. Machine learning uses the same 70-30 model. So what this is proving is it, it is far harder to uncover a winning strategy than just adding a couple of measures together and shoving them through a bit of software and getting a strike rate. Long term, you're going to have to seriously work on a strategy. And I know that's not what everybody wants to hear. They just want to tap a few buttons and be told that they're going to make a, a significant profit for every day moving forward. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Um, you're going to have to manipulate this data and you're going to have to work very hard to get the p-rate to go below this green line. Uh, before we go, we'll put the yield on just to see um, if we would have made any money or lost any money with these strategies. But um, this is just for reference. It's, uh, it's not a strategy which is going to be taken forward in its current form. So we can see the losses on this strategy aren't exactly massive. Um, you're just under the break-even line, 3%, uh, 4%. We can't be confident that this strategy is down to skill. It is definitely, as the p-value is shown here, it is more luck and uh, more refinement is needed. Obviously, we, we couldn't show you a winning back the draw strategy here. We can show how others might sell it to you as a winning strategy because on the Italian league and a few other leagues, it is quite lucrative, but uh, that is just backfitting the data to tell a story. And if you want to be a successful trader, you need to do more than that. You need to project that story forward into the future. And that is what CGM Bet here will help you do, that, that no other software will. Hopefully this video has provoked your thoughts and made you think about how you trade and how you create your strategies in a slightly different way. We do obviously have further reading on our 
um, website, lessonsinlogic.com, where we talk more about the split 70-30 method and p-values. And, and hopefully uh, this will back up what you've just um, learned in this video. Hopefully you're not too disheartened by the fact that it is really hard to find a profitable edge in the market. I'm sure that they are out there. You just need to put the work in. But uh, that's the reality of trading, unfortunately. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give us a like and a subscribe. And please do check out the website, lessonsinlogic.com. As well as the articles, there's a full catalogue of all the videos there. You can try the simulator out if you haven't already done so and uh, just read more about what we're about so thank you for watching until the next time see you soon